essence of love. The basic problem of love is to first become mature and then we will find a mature partner. Then immature people will not attract you at all. This relates to everything, the friendship, the partner or whatever you are looking for. That immature people will not attract you at all. It is just like that. If you are 20 or 25 years of age, you will not fall in love with a baby 2 years old. Exactly like that. When you are a mature person, mature psychologically and spiritually, you will never fall in love with a baby. It does not happen that way. Also it cannot happen. You can see that it is going to be meaningless. Love must happen at home first. You are the home. Remember, I am not talking about your physical home where you live. You are the home. This human body is your home. And when I am speaking of you, I am speaking of the spirit, the being, the essence that you are, the formless. And only when love overflows, then it can reach to others. And, in, and when it overflows, it expresses through your actions, thinking, gestures and everything else. Whatever you paint or make shoes or do anything else. Be in deep love with yourself. Then love begins to flow into everything that you do. It flows even when you are not doing anything. It goes on overflowing. It becomes your very existence and then nothing is boring. Quite often people ask me sympathetically, after doing my work, I remain sitting in one room, not even going out of the house. My windows are have curtains. Do you ever get bored? What should I tell these people? I have learned the art of being in my own company. It was my approach even as a child. This is the best company that I could ever seek. I am with myself. Why should I be? Why should I get bored? The further inquire, just sitting alone. Don't you get bored? And also I do not talk to anyone unnecessarily. You will not be able to understand this from where you are standing. I am so ecstatic and overflowing that I need nothing for entertainment or no company. If I hate myself, then certainly I will get bored. You cannot live with someone that you hate. I do not hate myself and I do not condemn my actions. All then, what is the nature of actions? All actions are like dried leaves that are no more needed on the tree of consciousness. Remember you are the tree of consciousness and actions are like the dried leaves. Just as during autumn, dried leaves 
fall so to thoughts that are no more needed fall from the tree of consciousness as actions so why should i be worried about by nature you cannot be alone even if you are alone for a few moments you will get uncomfortable uneasiness comes into your being you long to meet someone you have not learned the art to live with yourself your own company is so boring you cannot even look at your own face whenever someone asks such questions their asking is relevant according to their own reference because they will get bored if they are alone based on their own criteria they ask the questions like these there is no need for me to go out except when i have to go out for work that is essential for the sake of my living also it is in quiet if i do not get bored with similar questions again and again whenever anyone is asking a question his being and understanding is the criteria all questions arise as the outcome of inner consciousness and remember i do not answer any question instead i answer the questioning mind so to me it is not the same question is being repeated again and again each time when a question is asked it carries a different consciousness behind it because the question may be the same but the person who is asking the consciousness that is lurking behind this question is different everyone has the same problem you are not original therefore you cannot even create any original problem and when the problem is same then how can your question be different certain problems are related with love with sex with peace of mind with confusion or something else also there are certain psychological and pathological problems men can be easily divided into seven categories based on problems since there are seven categories of men then the same questions are bound to remain so people go on asking the seven basic questions how can i get bored with such questions i do not get bored because each individual is unique to me and because of the individuality the problem that he brings is never a repetition because the context is different and so is the individual you come with your love problems another comes with his both look similar but they are not do individual differ in their consciousness that changes the quality of the problem of the question each individual is so unique that he cannot be put with anyone else no category can be made but then you have to have a very keen awareness to penetrate to the very root where the individual is unique otherwise on the surface everyone is alike just on the surface everyone seems alike with the same problem 
but if you penetrate deep within the consciousness you will find the difference it is like when a patient goes to a doctor doctor does doctor does the physical examination and general check up but in order to know the deeper aspects he has to send for x ray mri mris and all things like these and when a same individual for the same problem goes on mri scan the results come some different if you are alert and ready to move with the person to the deepest core of his being the deeper you go the more original individual and unique phenomena comes into being if you can penetrate to the very center you will realize that the person before you is unique and unrepeatable god it is said that he created the created man god is not henry ford that he created man on assembly line every individual is created unique if you can penetrate to the very center you will realize that the person before you is unique and unrepeatable he has never been before and he will never be again he is just unique and the mystery then overfills you it is the mystery of the uniqueness of this person if you know how to penetrate the deepest core and how to be loving and alert only then you will know the person's uniqueness otherwise everything is repetitive you are bored because you have a consciousness which creates boredom change the consciousness and there will be no boredom you can go on changing the objects and persons and not the consciousness certainly this will not make a difference you have problem with one spouse it is important to change your consciousness or bring about change within you otherwise you will find a similar person you are bored because of this so the sutra is to change the consciousness not the person or the object life will certainly attain a new meaning overflowing bliss each finite moment and each infinite moment man lives in reflections alone whatever we are is far from reality a mere reflection when a lamp is lit its shadow is always there unless and until you attain to that state when your presence does not create any shadow the shadow continues to follow the wheel when you stand and the sun light falls a reflection is created your reflection is always longer than the actual image such is the human life that we have created around us and then we ask where is happiness we seek happiness how can you get happiness through reflections alone you have to reach to that state of consciousness when there is no reflection this is the reason that it is said that holy prophet has no shadow because of this reason when you are not real 
and the light falls the image the shadow is created and we live with reflections not with the real that you are consciousness the bliss the shadowless presence meditation and insight of buddhas of the masters of the awakened ones is the only way to go beyond such reflections and then one day you discover your real face the eternal bliss when it is said holy prophet does not have a shadow it means he has discovered his real face his presence he is no more living in reflections so when we come across statements like these these have to be understood in their essence what is the difference between you reciting the verses of holy quran or other scriptures you are simply imitating someone you are not trying to be your original you are not able to discover your real face and that comes only when you start going into your being layer by layer it is your layers your being is like an onion it has layers upon layers and the moment you go on removing the layers one by one then you will realize that you there there is nothing except the empty space you have you are living in a structure a big structure it has a gate it has an entrance it has a boundary wall it has rooms and different kind of rooms the space is encompassed in different shapes for different functions this is how you are when you meet a friend you have a different kind of face to meet him a different space when you meet the person that you do not like you have a different inner space that reflects as your face you never meet someone with your real face and it is important to discover your original face the moment you have discovered your original face the parable says we have to say that this person does not have any shadow is not a miracle that can happen only with holy prophet it can happen with you as well and that should be your aspiration how to reach to that level of consciousness that holy prophet that buddha that jesus reflects it is with this in mind the new series of talks is beginning from today as mystical insights love is the essence you have to remember how to discover your own innerness you are discovering the reservoir that lies hidden deep within you